Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today our lesson is going to be on multiplying fractions. And most students depend on their calculator for fraction operations, but it's really important to understand how the operations work the way they do, because when you get to your upper level math classes, you're going to have variables in your fractions and you can't use your calculator for that. So multiplication of fractions can show up in a lot of different ways, with the traditional multiplication symbol, parentheses, or the multiplication dot. But either way, what we're going to do is multiply straight across in the numerator and the denominator. Here, 2 times 1 is 2 over 3 times 4, which is 12. We're going to reduce or simplify whenever we can. Here, we could divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. So our final answer would be 1 over 6, or 1 6. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Here we have 3 fifths times 2 sevenths. Multiply straight across. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 7 is 35. And this cannot be reduced any further, and so that is our simplified fraction. The negative fraction confuses a lot of students because they think the negative symbol goes with the numerator and the denominator at the same time but it really can only go with one or the other because if it went with both the numerator and the denominator, a negative over a negative would make a positive fraction, and we know that this is not a positive fraction. So we're still going to multiply straight across. Let's just assume the negative goes with the numerator, and negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. 3 times 4 is 12. And this is a fraction that can't be reduced any further, so that's our final answer. Let's do one more example. A common misconception when students are multiplying integers with fractions is that they think that they need to multiply that integer with the numerator and the denominator. So here they would get 6 over 8, but we know that that's not really correct because it's not how it works. 2, when it's written as a fraction, is actually 2 over 1. So 2 over 1 times 3 fourths is really 2 times 3, which is 6. And we get 1 times 4, which is 4. We're going to reduce this by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 2. And our final answer would be 3 over 2, or 3 halves. So that concludes our lesson on multiplying fractions. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those questions in the comments below. And for more math tutorials, subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.